The 60s caught capitalism completely off guard. How are companies to sell products to a generation that had rejected consumerism? The answer was to tune into the movement and to sell to the individual in everyone. The strategy worked. The marketing machine captured the spirit of 60s individualism and made it its own. Today, this leaves us doubly compromised. Ooh. On the one hand, we've become used to defining ourselves by the things we buy. Leaving ideology behind, we now derive a sense of personal identity and empowerment from the goods we purchase and consume. We become revolutionary exponents of over-the-counter culture. Fired by the rallying cry, Go on, break the rules, define who you are. With our sneakers. On the other hand, we've inherited an incomplete picture of history. Blinded by individualistic short-sightedness, we fail to see what the 60s revolution was really all about. The 60s was only superficially a decade of individualism. If the countercultural revolution transformed society, it was because individuals, knowingly or unknowingly, acted en masse, as a swarm. The countercultural revolution was a rhizomatic meshwork of loosely coordinated, loosely affiliated struggles. Their goals weren't always complementary, but the struggles were aligned and together they staged a mass offensive to shatter the status quo. The real lesson of the 60s is that a swarm offensive can transform cultures and change history in extraordinary ways. It's easy to see how we might bring this insight up to date. Thanks to the internet, the world is networked like never before. We can use the internet to kickstart our own revolution, harnessing the energy of the human swarm and focusing it on the problem of our time. Let's take our lead from Web 2.0 and the strategies of open source culture. It's time to recover the true spirit of the 60s counterculture with an internet-based swarm offensive aimed at triggering a 21st century culture shift.